next, uh, Ed Malloy. As you know, uh, Ed Malloy is president of the Building and Construction and Trades Council and is a guy who really understands what it means to get jobs in the city. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This subject has been debated extensively over the last few months. I think the only issue that we should focus on is there's $354 million of federal money on the table. We cannot let that go to another state. We need that $354 million. The city needs it, the state needs it, and the MTA needs it. We have to pass contested pricing. All the members and affiliates of the Bill Construction Trades Council are in favor of this. And Mr. Mayor, we hope you are successful. Thank you very much. And thank you. Next to uh, Ed Ott, Executive Driver, Director of New York City Central Labor Council. Uh, the Central Labor Council has been involved in a discussion on congestion pricing from the very beginning. We believe that this proposal serves the 95% of the working middle class and working class that utilizes mass transit in order to get to work in the zone. We believe that the proposal is fair, it's balanced, it provides the funds going forward for a world-class transit system. The competitiveness of this city as a community to do business in is going to be increasingly dependent on an efficient mass transit that serves both the business community and the workers of this city. We believe this proposal, proposal takes the right step in the right direction. It is balanced. We believe in the end that the workers of this city will benefit greatly from a better mass transit system, including those workers in the outer boroughs who have no bus systems that really connect them. This plan makes a commitment to expand those systems, and we support it. We want to thank the mayor for taking the big step, doing the hard thing, and getting this done. And thank you. I might point out that uh, Kyle Bragg from uh, 32 BJ at CIU uh, walked over with us and got soaked. Thank you very much for uh, that. Uh, Gary LaBarber was going to come, but he got tied up. He is president of the team since joint council. 16 and uh, Bruce both, uh, both president of the United Foods and Commercial Workers, a local 1500. Uh, they also wanted me, asked me personally to uh, uh, explain that they really are 100% supportive of this issue. Now, I have to get the number four up to Yankee Stadium, but we will take a couple of questions, too. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, the uh, opponents of congestion prices in the council say the fact that the vote has not let us take means that the votes are not yet money that will pass. Is that it's well, you'll have to talk to the city council as to when uh, they plan a vote, but I'm confident that this will pass in the city council. And uh, Christine Quinn is going to meet me at the game. Uh, you'll have to ask her when she plans to, uh, to do something about that. But it's purely a question of getting a schedule. There were some people away, and she wanted to make sure that everybody had a chance to explain to express themselves. Yes, sir. Is it risky to put a provision in the revised bill that tries to put the Port Authority over a barrel on the billion dollars? Well, the Port Authority doesn't have a bill, it doesn't have a uh, vote in Albany, but if the Port Authority part of it uh, does not pass muster uh, with the courts, then the project would go ahead anyway. That's the way we're writing the legislation so that it does not jeopardize because there are some lawyers who say it could, we could not do it. On the other hand, most say that it probably is legal and we will do it. Yes, ma'am? Um, what was your meeting with Tony Blair about? Um, Tony Blair, we talked about his interest. He's uh, very big in uh, uh, philanthropy. As you know, he cares very much about Africa. He's got a number of projects working there, as do I and my foundation. Uh, we talked a little bit about British politics. He uh, thinks congestion pricing really has made a big difference in London. Obviously, uh, Kevin had talked to him at length about that. Uh, London, you should know, is doing an enormous amount of infrastructure work without congestion pricing and the reduction in the number of cars coming in the city, which you can measure. They may have bad traffic now. It would have been literally a nightmare. So that has worked very well there. Um, and we just talked about uh, his, uh, his wife and my girlfriend are friends. And, why they couldn't get together, Diana's up in Boston for the day. Yes, in the back, sir. I can't hear you, sir. We think, I think that is true, but the Port Authority, remember, has people coming through its facilities not just from New Jersey, but from New York City, from New York State as well. 
people from Rockland tend to use the GW or one of the tunnels. So it may very well be that if the uh, charge is against Port Authority users as opposed to people from New Jersey per se, that it may pass muster. But if it doesn't pass muster, the plan would go ahead anyway. So one or two more, we gotta go. Um, what would the money start at? Where would you like to cost you the most transportation improvements? Well, we have this, this five-year capital plan from the MTA, every borough. I think one of the interesting things here is the $354 million from the feds will come quickly and we are going to use it for mass transit improvements, which you will see on the streets almost overnight. We've already got a, a trial, for example, on Staten Island, Victory Boulevard. It really does work. It reduces congestion and travel time in one direction, 17%, 11% in the other direction through changing traffic lights when a bus pulls up. So the stuff really works. Building the Second Avenue subway is going to take a long time. Getting rapid transit, bus rapid transit, and dedicated lanes, those kinds of things we can do right away, and we're going to do it right away. What's yes, the more? Mr. Mayor, two-part question. Can you talk about the timing of getting this done and whether or not the concern that it will be passed in the budget, you're going to go home and then this is going to get done right away. Look, this, this should get done. I'm sorry, just separately, for a different story, how do you feel that the state budget that we now. Well, the state budget, I don't know what's going to happen. I, you know, they've had a meeting. I've talked to the governor. I've talked to uh, the, some of the legislative leaders. Our staffs have been with touch with both Shelley and Joe's staffs. And I just don't know how it's going to play because I don't know what's in it yet. So that in terms of congestion pricing, uh, your question was uh, timing. timing. The legislation, remember when Shelley passed a, a bill authorizing a study committee, it was designed to be done by March 31st so that it would be in the budget, and it should be in the budget. Uh, that, that's something that was always contemplated, and I'm confident that it will be. A last question, and I have to go. Mayor, is, it, is it better to have the budget on time up in Albany, or is it better to have it the way you want it? My personal way? opinion is this is a straw man. We've gotten ourselves trapped in on time rather than what's right. And if a budget took a few extra days to do it right, that's an awful lot more important. I know the politics doesn't sound that way, but that is. It's exactly like a five and six year graduation rate in high school. If a kid can't get through in four years, you don't throw the kid out and say the heck with him. You work harder to get him done. And if we can get him done in five years or six years, but he gets an education, that's what matters. If we get a budget two or three days later, a week later, and it has the right things for this state and this city, I'm all in favor of it. Thank, Thank you very much. Enjoy the game. Go Yankees.